willingness to rethink the boundaries of public health really resonates with what we're trying to do here at our College of Public Health. So I'm really honored to have Dr. Galea speak with us today. And so without further ado, Dr. Galea, thank you. You might be thinking to yourself, well, I know what I should talk about when we talk about health. It's the stuff that we cover in our classes. But I'm going to try to make the argument that we frequently misthink when we think about health, and there are several things that we should focus on, and I'm gonna give you five of those. And hopefully, helping us see how we can nudge the health conversation forward. Now, in my writing, I have called this an unhealthy mismatch. And what's the mismatch? I think the mismatch is as follows. The mismatch is between how much we care about health and how, what we actually achieve in health. So the question which I've been grappling with is, why is this mismatch? Why is this mismatch? And I've written that there, I think there are two core reasons for this mismatch. Number one is our scholarship, our science, and the evidence that we put to bear on generating health. And number two is on the national health conversation. Our investment in health has been investing in curing people from disease, and that really affects the extremes of life. And it's good when you're over 75, terrible for the rest of the country under age 75. And those 10 players are the social structures of the world around us. They are the homelessness I talked about with Blind Bill Johnson. They're poverty, they are racism, they're gender equity. Those are all the reproductive rights. Those are all the pillars that the other 10 players represent. And that is what we should be talking about when we talk about health. I'll stop here. Thank you very much for having me.